In fact, actually about a week ago, there was a, a new paper that came out in the New England Journal of Medicine that looked specifically at vaccination in, uh, in women that were pregnant. And much, I think, along the lines of what we had anticipated, we didn't see any adverse reactions in, in women that, that were uh, pregnant that got vaccinated. So that, that's very good. It tells us that that, that that group is not at high risk for adverse events with vaccination. But what we also have to appreciate is that when we look at this virus, one of the things we know, certainly there's a lower rate of infection in kids, but it doesn't mean that they are completely refractory from infection. We know that kids can get severe disease. We certainly know that they can continue to transmit in our communities, which puts the rest of us at risk. But we also know that pregnant women may actually see severe consequences uh, from getting infected. So when we think about this idea of, uh, of suppression strategies, we have to consider that these other groups are inherently important for us to look at for vaccination so that we can essentially get transmission down to a minimum and protect those groups that are most at risk of severe disease. We've seen with, with vaccines and concerns about vaccines, this has been this idea of you know reproductive health and, and fertility. Are we going to see impacts from vaccinations? And certainly there's been a, a lot of misinformation presented about vaccines in general uh, to fertility and, and, uh, and reproductive health. You know, I, I work a lot with Ebola virus. We know that, that people that um, have been infected with Ebola virus can carry the virus to the reproductive tract. They can pass it on through sexual transmission. We certainly know with, with SARS-CoV-2, we have seen indications at least that the virus can get into the male reproductive tract. And there may be fertility or long-term reproductive health consequences in those cases, but we, we still are at an early phase of understanding this. So I think about vaccination. Vaccination, again, is probably one of our best weapons to fight against any potential fertility consequences or reproductive health consequences of getting infected. And that's where our greatest risk lies. Um, we learn more about viruses each day, and in many cases, it, it doesn't occur for, for years down the line. We want to be sure that we are able to suppress this virus um, and not have any surprises down the line that there actually were impacts on fertility in, in younger kids when they got infected. So if we can use a vaccine to, to gain protect us from that, um, that, that we have to be very judicious in, in getting it out to, uh, to the public.